May 30th, 2008. San Salvador, El Salvador. An Airbus A320 by Takta Airlines. Departure to Miami with intermediate stops at Tegucigalpa and San Pedro Sula in Honduras. Each time on my leaving home, I run back with 126 passengers on board. One last hold on the to 5 a.m. on Contentego Galbra. The airport single runway is 2,163 meters in length and is at an altitude of 1,004 meters. Wind at 180 degrees 7 knots. Not the best conditions for a runway zero to landing. Controllers discussing why the airplane decided to land on runway zero two instead of two zero. Hello, sir. Control zero San Bravo. The Airbus va a aproximar a la zero dos o a la dos cero. Okay, solicitor dos está solicitando a la cero dos direct por condiciones de aproximación a la dos. Later the pilot requests surf wind condition and is given to him by the approach controller. The wind information is not good for a landing at runway 02. A landing at runway 20 would be preferred, but for some reason, the pilot closed 02. As the pilot confirms he is on final approach, the tower controller cautions him that the runway is wet and gives him again wind conditions. The plane touched the ground until half runway, shortening the distance needed for braking as well as the wet runway caused him get away from this and from the airport, until it smashed into several cars that were in the nearby avenue. Five people were killed, including the pilot and 76 injured after flight 390 of Takta Airlines overran the runway. Each time on my after the accident the airport would be closed and its flights rerouted for the International Airport of San Pedro Sala. Weeks after, the airport would be open. You 